Google YouTube. This is Pink Little Beauty. I know I haven't actually been on and made a video in a while, but I've just been busy at home. Um, I'm coming back to you because my co-workers had brought up um, the topic of birch boxes, and I had never heard of anything like that, that you pay $10 a month and get samples sent to your house, so I started um, doing a little bit of research and found that the Ipsy bags were preferred over the birch boxes. So I went with that, and uh, today is May 11th, and I just got mine today. It was so much fun because tomorrow is Mother's Day, and I feel like this is such a great little gift, like the day before Mother's Day, that I was almost getting like an extra present. Okay, so I really do like my bag this month. I was very excited with it. It looks like this. It's got a cute little pattern on it with um, teal and orange. And I mean, it's not the best quality. It does have their logo over here, which is really great because you can carry this around everywhere. And... Okay, um, the first thing that I pulled out when I had originally opened it was the Zoya Nail Polish. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It looks like that. Uh, mine came in a lavender color, and the name of it is Julie. It looks like this. I did go ahead and put it on and it looked like that. Again, it's just a really pretty lavender color, great for spring, great for uh, coming summer. So that was very exciting and it came in a full size. So being my first month, I wasn't really sure if I was going to get um, enough product because I had seen some of the birch boxes and they didn't seem like a lot of product or they were just a couple samples but it was just the small sizes so I was really excited when the first one I got was a full size. Um, I don't think there's any more to this one. Okay. The next thing I pulled out was Mirabella Shimmerati. It's a glimmer gloss. It doesn't have a color name um, but it does say that it's a ruby red, a brilliant ruby red, uh, where is it? Gloss in stunning, sleek case, can be easily tucked into a clutch or pocket and taken to all the parties of the season. So this is what it looks like. I love the packaging for this. This is so cool and I'm actually glad because I've seen another or a couple other videos of the May Ipsy bags and some girls didn't get these ones. They got like the regular ones and I'm really happy I got one of these because it's so cute. Um, so it looks like that. Obviously I've used it. I actually do have it on right now. So it looks like that and I applied that when I first started doing my makeup. So it lasts a long time. So. Go ahead and throw a little bit more on. Okay, so that's another one of my favorite. Like, this bag is seriously so cool. Um, and again, this is a full size. So that's really great. So already two full size things, and that's the first two things I pull out. Next thing I saw was this Pacifica Coconut Crushed Pearl Bronzing Body Butter. This doesn't smell all that great. It smells like coconut, but it doesn't have so much of a scent. So, but it does have a really good shimmer. It says sun kiss glow with coconut oil, pearls, and sea minerals, and it's really great. Like, my skin looks like I just stepped out of a tanning paradise on off the beach. So, it does work really well. I do have it, like, all over my chest. Um, as soon as I saw this one, I really wanted to do that in the lip gloss and do kind of like a beachy look with this month's and I, I just really like it. The next one was a Pacifica Island Vanilla. This is a travel roll-on perfume. This is really great because I can stick this in my purse and take it everywhere with me. The packaging is really cute along with the bottle. Looks like that. It's really light scent. Um, again, it's a roll-on. I really like it. It's like a full size. I know with the birch boxes that came out this month, um, they had like a tiny little like spritzer bottle and I didn't really like it very well because it didn't come out so it was kind of like drippy all over my arm but the scent was really good. I think it was called Fabulous. And But I really like this. I've gotten a lot into the scent of vanilla and 
lavender and stuff like that so I feel like this bag was like put together specifically for me which is cool right okay and again that's four products and all of them are big products that you can take with you and you'll get a lot of use out of them so for ten dollars that's such a steal and I have one more which this is the Yabby uh, concealer in honey this was too dark for me. I actually might go on and personalize my profile again and put it as a lighter color. Um, I'll wait until next month to see if this happens again, but I really can't complain about this. I still tried to use this and uh, just to see how well it worked. It's very smooth. It's very blendable. Um, you can work on it. So I did really like it. I just wish it came like a little lighter for me. So that is the end of my bag. But I really enjoyed this bag. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that in this video, but I'm just really excited. I can't wait to get my next month's bag. Um, I did talk to my girlfriend because we were comparing like her Birchbox to my Ipsy bag, and I think she's going to switch, but we're going to wait until next month and kind of compare again. Because you just it seems like you get more um, bang for your buck. I mean, for $10, you got all that product. I mean, it's like a little fat little case. It comes in this cute packaging. Uh, it's like your birthday every month. So, I don't know. I think she might switch. In the, in her birch box, she got some hair oil. There was a tube, but it was like the aluminum foil kind of tube packets of the hair uh, a hair mask. I don't know what brand those were. She also got a full travel size detangler. Um, there was, again, the small sample of the perfume. There was some eyeliner, which actually was a really good eyeliner. I might include that in the bottom bar, uh, so keep an eye out for that. We actually tried it on our hand. It came out super smooth, and it was really hard to get off. Like, we actually had to use, like, alcohol wipes to get it off. And then the last thing I remember in her birch box was a cucumber sunscreen. It smelled great, so, um, that was a plus to that one. But it was still one of, like tiny little samples. So again, I think this is just more bang for your buck. It's really, really fun, and I can't wait to get my next month. I do believe that's all I have for you today, but thanks for tuning in, and always, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe. Uh, I'd like to see any responses you have for me or anything that you got in your birch bag that was really, really, f or I'm birch bag, listen to me, uh, your Ipsy bag or your birch box. Um, that you liked and maybe your comments on which one you like overall uh, between the two. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Bye.